there's two key points really. The first and most important point is to make sure that you fully understand the business so that you can map out all of the different sales flows and have every single combination of potential transactions blueprinted at the start of any project. Because trying to do that, as I've had to do, after the event to try and work out what we should have implemented at the time has been incredibly difficult. So that's the, 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 the first thing to sit down and really understand this and map it properly. But then the second point is to make sure that you keep that up to date. So it's continually being proactive and talking to the business, talking to anybody who might know what the key changes are so that you can keep on top of that and keep it mapped and keep it up to date because SAP isn't dynamic. It is only as good as the information that you put in. So you've got to continually keep on top of that and make sure that you, you keep it current.